Hi guys and welcome to England Field and today join me at Moorfield Fisheries and we are fishing the paste but today we're using a paste that's a little bit different it's, it's new to me I've not not used it before um, and it's using the Ted Carter baits to create it so I'm just going to uh, unlock this little cap and get him back and then we'll have a little thingy about it the difference also is I've mixed it up stiffer which is something I don't always do and also I'm using corn to feed which also is something that I don't normally do so the additives I've used the base of the additive additive to be honest because it's really strong it excite crush green um, I've used that because it's nice and smooth and then I've used the all round uh, ground bait, um, the all rounder, and that's the the greeny coloured one. Um, and it's uh, yeah, it it, it, it seems to be working a treat. That was first drop, so that's um, obviously got them got them interested in it straight away. Um, I've mixed it up a little bit stiffer than I normally do. Um, the reason I've done that is because there's a, a lot of fish about today, and I didn't want them to really knock it off as much as I could possibly cope with. So. I am feeding corn, like I said, with it today, um, which is something I don't always do with paste, but it's a high attractor, um, is corn, and it uh, doesn't really fill up the fish too much. It's also a big bait, so I'm hoping, now that that was a little one to start off with, but I'm hoping it's going to attract some of the bigger fish into the swim. If we can get it down to the bottom without getting attacked by goldfish, that is. Unfortunately, this is what we're probably going to be um, contending with today. Is his uh, his goldfish? I'm just trying to get that pace down. This is a every time you put a have anything sort of feeding, they're, <laughs> they're there. So I'll try and get tip this in without any corn this time. See if we can get that in to the bottom. I've got it down there this time. A quick bite and I feel today there is going to be a little bit of this. Um, there is some little fish there and we're just going to have to wait till it ploughs under and fingers crossed we can we can have some of them fish but the uh, the float I've, I've got is something that is new to me as well um, I've started to test out a lot of people have been asking about commercial floats and floats that are not always um, from a mate what are manufactured floats basically what is what I'm getting at like um, so I've got a selection a few a majority of Preston to be honest I've got some guru um, and I'm, this one's a Preston Paste 1. So I'm going to give this one a try. <laughs> Looks like we are going to be into these little fish. Can't believe that they're taking these big chunks of paste to be honest, but what we'll have to do is, if they do persist, is go down that edge. So there's a saw some big ones. And maybe we'll have to just bump up the size of what kind of pace what we're doing um, to a bigger size. We've got a 12 Guru Extra Strong um, size 12 hook on, so you know it's it'll coat with a big bit of paste, and uh, maybe that's what's needed to attract these bigger carp. Also sink faster as well. All that with a bit bigger paste. And just go straight away. They're all over it. And even even if it's a, a small bit of paste, a big bit of paste, they're still all over it. This one's a little bit bigger but nothing massive. And we're not hanging about here, that were a, that were a big piece of paste. Well that and that we're talking about a pound cap. Um and the elastic we've got on is twenty-two um elastic so it's 
proper strong stuff here that that is that red, um that red but the thing i like about it is it's super stretchy um so you can get away with um still not bumping uh, bigger fish with it uh, which is is always good i can't i'm so shocked actually that the little fish i've i've gone for i did think we would um they won't be as concerned about the pace but we'll obviously they are but hopefully we get some some bigger ones and i just let that go for a little bit i didn't know if we'd got a liner or anything like that but as soon as it's going down they're taking it <laughs> no matter what no matter what size bit of paste i'm putting on which is a little bit annoying They are absolutely savage and shows how attractive that paste is though. The flavours, proper strong flavour to, to it. And it's um, it's attracting them fish almost instantly um, to, the, to the bait. And the consistency is nice when you make it with that um, additive. It's uh, still a nice smooth consistency paste. Like I say, I made it a bit stiffer because of how many fish they are in the swim. They're just all over it. They're just absolutely all over it. This one's not big, but it is pulling back, but maybe it's potentially foul up to itself. Oh no, it's up to mouth, it's a little bit bigger. But just no no match for this uh, this kit and this uh, elastic. We're not hanging about when we get put this on a, a, a 023 power micron. Not not hang about with these kind of things. Nice F1. I'm getting back. A good couple of pounds that one. Going in the right direction, boys. Going in the right direction. We like him uh, about four times bigger at least, and that'd be nice. But it does also show um, the power of of uh, the M2 as well. It uh, when it's kitted out properly and you got the right gear, it's, uh, it's a, an absolute bagging machine of a of a pole and as you as you know from the review it's it's light enough and stiff enough to to hold at length as well which is is good look at that they're just all over it and i can't believe that that fish at that size of paste that is redonkulous that's <laughs> that bit of paste will, will bigger in its mouth but it just shows how attractive that that um that Ted Carter bait is Christ. As soon as it goes in, they're all over it like butter on bread. And at the moment, we're not even having to feed any corn. But what I might do is just throw a couple of good handfuls in to try and get some of the bigger carp milling around. See if the bait can get to get to them before uh, it gets eaten to death by all these little ones. Bumped out with another one and let's just get a couple of good handfuls in. You could pop these in but what we're trying to do is just attract the fish. We're not we're not fussed. Just want to get them into the swim and see if we can get them milling around it is sort of that time of day where that's coming on and what you want when you want to be fishing the old paste and you can fish it down the edge as well if you know the banks are undercut slightly here um, from what I've been told just <laughs> see that's a lovely big fish there Just 
drop that in at the side of him and see if he wants that. Oh, he has, he has took in it as well. He has took in it. No, I don't think he has. I thought that might have been a bigger than that. <laughs> I thought that was big boy that had took that then. <laughs> show you <laughs> that pulled out but is in the net so we count it's getting back in and this kind of fishing this time of night and afternoons is great it's just a great bit of fishing in it not when you're walking bottom of your net with a size 12 up though that, that's not fun right, there we go Right, so next bit of paste. Like I said, we've thrown all that corn in it. I'll just go over the top of it now and hopefully that, putting a few bits in has, has put the fish down on the bottom a little bit, feeding it heavier. So instead of um, trying to peck it to death while it's going down, uh, we hopefully got them let me down on bottom a little bit. Another small fish. Tail up, tail up this one. Obviously a few fish down there. Now this is, this is a few bigger ones now just behind. Hopefully, they're the ones we want. They're, they're going to go down there and we hook into something a little bit juicier. But it's amazing what size piece of paste that these smaller fish can take. Because I'm putting stupid size bits of paste on, really. And uh, you know, they're, still, they're still having it, which is a little bit mad. some action now I think they've got not getting knocked about by many little ones to start off with I'm hoping there's a few bigger ones down there now let's get that paste wrapped out there a cat but it's not it's not it's not massive but it's definitely definitely a bit bigger than what we've been having working nice as well it's like it's at that consistency where it's 
it's not wet because it's just there's just obliterated on the way down and even get to the bottom so but it's not it's not stiff but it's dry and when you've you've played a fish as well and you've got your, your wet hands it's um just lovely to mold And I do feel that we're getting to it now. I think, I think we are going to have something of a decent proportion soon. Oh, that's quite annoying. There we go. He says that and then he comes into a small, a small fish. Oh, it's like a, a little koi, that. A little ghost of koi, bloody hell, that's like albino. That's a right cool fish, is that? Oh, I've not caught a fish like that before. Look at that, boys. It's a fantail that's albino. Glenn. You're not seeing out like what I've just caught here. I've got an albino white fantail. Well, I never. Not seen one of those before. Get that back out there. Albino white fantail. Well, it's an interesting one, isn't it? And I must say, as a venue, it's a great little thing. This would be a perfect place to bring the kids. You know, there's lo loads of different species in here. Plenty of fish. Plenty of bites. That's a fish. Now, at last. I did tell you, didn't I? Oh, oh, oh. pulled out of him. Must have not eaten that hard enough, or it might have foul looked him, but that's good. That means that there's um, big ones down there, which I thought there would be. Let's get some more corn in there. And they know what to do. As soon as I hook that there, we're going, going for them, re them lilies. And this is why we've changed. If you watch any of the videos that are linked to what I filmed today, um, like the 11 minute challenge, we had the um, XZ65 out. But we firmly put that away and got out the M2 for this kind of job. Because so if they want to go for that lily pad, you've got to be able to hold them. Another small one. Like a dark common, and he wanted, he wanted that. He told me he wanted that. A little fish. And there we go. And I've just run this video as a different kind of video. I just thought we'd just do this as, you know, seeing a new product, but just chugging along, chugging along, catching, and, uh, you know, not as much editor's shots, just enjoying the fishing. And what a day it's been today, weather wise and fishing wise, to be honest. It's been superb. These random twigs are annoying me though. 
That way out of Glynn's peg from a bit of gardening that he's been doing. So, what I'm seeing now is that I've got not as instant bite on that last drop, which I'm hoping means there's a big old cat down there ready to take my bait. That is what he hopes. You can see him moving about. They are in this area. It's where we can wade themselves through a plethora of other fish to get to your bait. fish in there. Listen, I know there's bigger fish down there. Get through those, through those fish. Get down there and get through them fish. We can have them. Loads of fantails today, must have had at least eight fantails, maybe, maybe more. small that one. It's insane for the size of the, for the size of the thing. Oh, okay then. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fish. Something feels a little bit better looking than this one. <laughs> fish guys and uh, nothing of massive size yet though um, it'd be nice if we did but not entirely sure we're gonna get breakthrough of this barrier of um, smaller fish although nice to catch on light gear we want the um, the parkers Gaff up to this one. We've actually not hooked it at all, we've lassoed it. It's just literally lassoed in the line. It's uh, a lot of fish there. What I might just do now is uh, just try it just down my left, down my right edge. Um, just away from where all, all these fish are feeding. Just see if we've got um, anything. Is that here? <laughs> if we can steal a proper fish. Not a big one. <laughs> it's bloody leaves everywhere. <laughs> That's a nice fish then. I say massive, but nice little fish. A bit bigger than the other sun that we've been catching. fish them. Trying to run off. But nice fish. Get him in. Get him back in. Right, so we see two things we found out is one that this bait definitely definitely works as a paste. Um, and the other is that this venue is rammed. <laughs> full of fish so many fish um, but still if the bait ain't right you won't catch them even if it is, is a, even if it is a, a venue that's got you know quite a lot of fish in it it's still not you're not going to catch them if, if they don't like the bait it's simple as that and it, m most baits you can catch fish on I think for me it's all about the experience and the consistency of it Getting it sorted. This one feels a little bit better. Again, nothing crazy. A little bit. They're just hard fighting these little carp, aren't they? That's ratty. Now 
No match for uh, 23 power micron a guru walk and uh, 20 elastic that is for sure And that's why you put them on, even though this is not a big gap. You just got to, they, they, they know where to go. And if you got the lightest, lightish elastic on, they're going to do you. This one actually gives a foul look, actually. Even more so why the, uh, why the uh, strong stuff's needed sometimes because they do plough you about in and out of bushes and all sorts of stuff definitely if I had light elastic on them we'd have been into that uh, into their reed our lily definitely with that and when they're strong like that there's not much you can do <laughs> that from hold on if you've got light elastic We're just fishing a little bit closer in now. Uh, I've just found a little patch here where you can actually settle and, and see, see see bites um, without the um, getting atta attacked by 2,000 small fish every time. And what we'll do is we'll take the video to the end of this little bit of pace we made up for for the video, and then we'll call it we'll call it quits. Um, but before we do that. We'll obviously we'll have a little look through the rig um, and see what it looks like. It's a lovely little session today. You know, got a, a, a few videos, um, a few videos filmed, a few things buttoned up um, with the uh, poorer time weather coming up and uh, work being busy as always. When I get the chance, I try to. Um, get a few done if you could see the fizzing that's just come up and that swell then that would denote to me that there is a bigger fish down here so fingers crossed let's get him let's get him on the hook preferably not foul hooked you can always tell when there's usually bigger fish about as well there's uh Usually the bites stop um, being as, as, as quick. It's just small fish this. And there's some bubbles coming up from where I've just put that in. So he may be down there. Hopefully. Come on lad. Give us one big big fish. We've got about three three puts in left after this one. Oh that sailed away, did that? Is this a proper run? I don't think so still. I think it's just a small cap. There we go. Right. So three more put three more puts in. Perfectly hooked in the lip. So committed to death. So this is number one of three. That will finish us to the end of the video. So let's see if we can go three for three with fish. It's fizzing, it's like a cauldron at the side of me. So Hopefully there's a carpy, a decent one there. So my theory of slightly longer to full of bites equals a bit of fish pays off.
I don't think it, it's not ridiculous, but it's definitely pulling up back a little bit, bit more. It's not big. Yeah, definitely a carp though. That's a bit better one. Nothing massive, of course. A little bit better stamp. Definitely a little bit better stamp then. A little bit more worth catching those ones. Perfectly. And the lip is taking that. Give me it back, Mr. Cap. There we go. The second I fight, we're going to play ball then. Are we going to are we gonna play ball? Let's have a look. So, thing with his little camp, giddy, giddy, giddy. Not going to play ball, but there you go. That's a, that's a little bit better stamp. Not quite the. Loch Ness monster that we wanted, but we've still got two two puts in of pace left. Two puts in. Right. This is paste number two of three that we got left. And we've only mixed up a small amount um, just to do this video. Well, there's another one down there, but a bit bigger. That one feels a little bit better. Never know when you first look up. This is the same size as the other one. They come off, I know they go off, you don't know when you first duck them. That's really mean. Oh, I didn't like that. Didn't like that. There she goes. Another cat, from two, two for two. See if we can end up with a third one. These are obviously a little bit bigger. We'd like them to be even bigger than this, but... Come on. There you come. There you go. Another giddy, 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 giddy pup. Giddy pup, giddy pup, aren't you? Let's see if we can get him up, because there's a lovely markings on this one. Pop the markings on that one. Beautiful. Fully scaled mirror there. Let's see what we can do with the last one. Is it going to be a Benny special where we uh, have something stupid on the last putting? We've done that many times before. Let's have a go. See if that can be another one of those days. Or at least see if we can get three for three out of the last piece of the paste. That is the last one, it's a, the biggest size ball of the lot as well. It's a proper ball, is that one. Let's get him in. Fingers crossed. Somewhat waiting for it. No, it's not a big one, I don't think. <laughs> nope. But if we get him in, it's three out of three, which is pretty good. It's not, it's not, it's not big at all. Probably about similar size to the last one we've just had. But just don't be afraid to move, like we're saying there. We just moved away from that. There was a little fish that were shoaling up, catching plenty of them, but. 
since we moved it we've got into not massive fish but definitely a bit bigger stamp that's where he wants to go this one that common cat that's why and a nice one to finish on very nice one to finish on that lovely markings on it like a little torpedo and again perfectly hooked in the mouth just what you want pick it if we can pick him up again they're giddy today steady like a lovely little fish to end the session on let's get him back in Right guys, so you can see Ted Carter baits, like most other baits, um, will do well on ponds, especially like this. But that's not the point. The point is that it mixes well, it's an attractive smelling bait and the consistency is right. That's a key thing when you're using ground baits or paste baits or even pellets, um, which is a really essential part when you, for just getting an easier way of fishing. If you have a grainy paste, it can be a lot more difficult to handle. So if you want to join us on the Facebook group, uh, Angling Feud is a fantastic members um, plethora on there of, of diff members with all their catches and they'll answer questions. Or if you just want to just look at the photos and see what photos are around, angling underscore for you um, at uh, Instagram. And if you want to look up through us features and other playlists, then do so. And there's lots of stuff on there. And then till the next one, if you could like, share and subscribe, that'd be fantastic. I'll see you soon. Tight lines.